We're out here today to do a knowledge sharing workshop with the community from, from around the area. Bringing mob together and as our old people did when we were growing up. Knowledge between different mobs. Yeah, so we started at Hilson, then we stopped and had a look at some scarred trees, moved along a little bit further and had a look at some stone artefacts, then onto Brewster Weir where we had had lunch and a good conversation, um, shared some kangaroo stew. Our culture is ingrained in our day so we'll have a bit of a look around here and I'll show you some flakes and some telltale signs. Respect is a big thing, like if you find an artefact, stone artefact on the ground, pick it up, look at it, put it back where you got it from. Is if you hold it up and you have a look and there's another big, mm. big mark there. This would have been a tool. I don't think half the town would probably know that they were there. How that stone got there is part of the story of that stone. If they can sit around the yarn, around the fire, and have a cup of tea, and and just generally talk, uh, you'll find they start talking about when they were growing up and sharing knowledge about things, because somebody will say something and it'll spark somebody else's memory, and then so on and so forth. It doesn't matter where the conversation starts, it just, it's amazing how it evolves between people that maybe have never met before, and the knowledge that can be shared just by sitting around and having a yarn. And okay, so Lawrence, because Dad was taken away when he was younger, I know nothing about my heritage. The last page is where you're at. Yes. I want to so, to the front of the book. so what you've got to do is you've got to start at the cover and uh, you've got a full book mm -hmm. to start. A lot of people that have been brought up in European society, mm -hmm. and I've worked in European society, but I've always had that connection to country. Mm -hmm. I've always come back out in country. Mm -hmm. I've always done stuff in country. A lot of people haven't had the chance, I haven't done it, mm -hmm. but when I've found once they turn 50, yeah. they want to do it, they want to find out where they come from. As you said before, I want to open that book and start at the beginning of where my cultural heritage is from. We've had a different upbringing to them because we connected with country growing up. We were always out on country. We're with the young ones here. A lot of them don't get that opportunity. So through program days like this, that's one way for them to connect the country, community, their culture. We want to know more about the area that we're in so we can pass it on to the children at the school. We'd like to have day trips like this for the children because I think it'd be really good. You trade the knowledge on how to work that material and where to find that material and what, what it's good for and what it's not. And just listening to them now sitting around the fire, it's just, listen, you, you could listen to them all day because they just have all these Stories. They get you laughing. They get you thinking. <laughs> Just sharing knowledge in general is, yeah, it's not not about cultural heritage, uh, artifacts, or anything like that. It's about the person and their journey in life. And as you get a bit older, you further your journey down that road further. Younger ones need to know what happened as far as Aboriginal people are concerned. We need to be able to carry on the heritage and pass that down to the younger generation to let them know that out in their backyard is things like this that they should know about. We always picking up things, we learn off each other. Yes, it's very important that we share our knowledge. A lot of our elders are gone, a lot of young people have been brought up in different environment. So yes, sharing knowledge is very important. The mob being out here and just having a feeder kangaroo tail stew and some Johnny Cake, Nicky Manu on the Kunika on the fire. It's essential, I think, sharing knowledge is essential um, to our culture and to our future. Um, it's the only way we're going to keep it, keep it alive.